keybind sets allows us to create different sets of the same key sets that we might want to alter in-game as we progress. We'll start off with a simple keybind set that we would use in space. For example, the spacebar. I'm going to fire all weapons on the spacebar. We're then going to execute full tray. And then we're going to distribute shield power. We'll add another key just to target the nearest enemy on the tilde key. We now have our master set as an example. We can add an empty set that we can name empty and then start again with adding keys to this set. But another quicker way of copying the original key is to remove first the empty one we don't need. Take the master set and copying it. We'll call this phase 2. You'll see it's all the settings are the same. In this one we're not going to fire any weapons. We're going to actually remove this entry. And in the tilde key we're going to actually tab through our next friends. So now the tilde key will cycle between our friends and the spacebar is not going to shoot anymore. It's just going to run trait 10 and distribute. Now the master set will always be the primary set once we create the key bind. But now to step in between we can add a second key in here. And make this function key F10. We're going to add a value that is load bind set. And we're going to load phase 2. Now when we're in the master set, <coughs> if we were to press F10, the phase 2 set of keys will be loaded replacing the spacebar with the new one and the tilde key with the new one now if you want to go and add a key here for F10 that loads the original set back so if we originally start with the master set press the F10 key will load the phase 2 set and then in this set it will replace all of these settings if we now hit the F10 key we'll go back to the master set it would be quite useful to know which set we are as we're loading it so we can add a TELF to ourselves and if our at handle is entered here we can now say phase 2 now when we press the F10 key it'll load the phase 2 and also send a tell to this at handle and if it's our at handle we'll get a tell to ourselves that we're now in phase 2. We can do the same here and send a tell back to ourselves. Sending default back to our at handle. Now with the two sets we can press the F10 key to cycle between the master and the phase 2 set. We'll get a tell to tell us in which phase we are. And that allows us to set up two different configurations. This is the advantage of keybind sets.